Uh, but it's ended up with Irish with a good attacking line it's inside the Wasps 22 on this left hand line goes to the back and up goes Bob Casey wins it well quick ball off the top for Owen Hickey to rush on and steps in and is tackled well inside the 22 they need to recycle this ball which they do and right they go to Dak Danaher checks and goes through they're offside Wasps it's an advantage penalty coming up for London Irish so free possession Bob Casey drives in and offloads in fact takes the tackle sets it up Irish need to use this ball if they can. The penalty's coming anyway as David Pace stumbles and goes to ground, receiving the ball down the narrow side. Still advantage, says the referee. Back it comes and Hickey goes for a little grubber kick. Through it goes nowhere, so they go back for the penalty. This time in front of the posts, and surely Paddy, three points coming up now for London Irish. But it's uh, a real chance for Owen Hickey this to establish himself, or at least show London Irish supporters what he can do before the likes of uh, Peter Hewitt, for example, comes from uh, Australia. The, uh, the kicker himself and Mike Cass of course returning from World Cup duties not just yet but not too far away but uh, it's another penalty anyway for Hickey this time in front of the post and inside the 22 Roy Maybank just standing directly behind him as kicking towards the stand to our left but again he's taking a long time he goes through this laborious process two steps three steps to the left and sets himself up staring at the ball up the post and uh, now is ready, strikes it right footed, and this time makes no mistake. Straight through the middle it goes, good attacking platform for Irish, and let's see what they can do with this possession. They've got the backs fanned out across the pitch, all the way up towards Silos of Akabau. In the centre now, we have Jeremy Staunton, Owen Hickey staying at outside half, although for the time being, he and Mapusura have switched for this line-out. Mapusura at first receiver, it goes to Nick Kennedy, wins the line, and uh, here comes the drive. Can Irish think about a catch and drive, it's a long, long way out, and, well, it's not going to happen just yet, because Wasps have a good counter drive on, pushing London Irish back as uh, Bob Casey does his best to clear out, there's a penalty coming up, Roy Maybank has his arm out, advantage London Irish, so they can have a go, Mapasua on a little, dunk, little jinking run, looking for the offload inside him to Ojo, couldn't get it away, so it goes to Hickey, Hickey moves it down the line to Declan Danaher, driving forward, 10 metres out, London Irish, still Maybank plays advantage, Bob Casey takes it on, rumbles forward, towards the touchline, has an arm in touch, but the ball is set up, and uh, well, now the touch judges, flag goes up for later lead, the crowd trying to draw the referee's attention to it, it's a penalty to London Irish anyway. Bob Casey arguing with the touch judge. There's no doubt he was in touch. And still the crowd are uh, trying to point out the touch judge. But all it is for, for a line-out, they'll go back to the penalty anyway. The Wasps crowd getting very excited. But it will be Hickey now having, yeah. having a go for goal. And it's uh, round about the spots he missed his first kick from this afternoon. In from the right-hand touch on about 15 metres or so. Uh, and uh, just about on the 22. Important kick this for Irish as we approach half-time. Two and a half minutes left to go and 15-3 uh, they trail this kick at least bring them back within nine points as uh, well Bob Casey still receiving some treatment on that finger away on the left hand side but Hickey is now set he's gone through his routine of stepping carefully to his left now stares at the ball focuses on the ball up at the post now strikes it right footed and again he gives it an almighty whack and this time through the middle it goes so London Irish do indeed have uh, a lifeline, Paddy, I think you'd say. We've seen so many tries from these back three <laughs> against Wasps in the past. Arms to Jojo and Tangathakabau. None of them have scored a try this season so far. They go down the narrow side and Hodgson with the ball, dancing and jinking and pirouetting his way through the tackle. Goes to ground just outside the uh -huh. 22. Dana, good drive in front from him over the 22. And Irish, this is better from them, going through the phases, driving on now from Dan Murphy and set it up. Now it's opened up away on this left-hand side. Hickey throws the pass down to Staunton. Staunton onto Mapasua. Mapasua gets it away to Ojo. Ojo steps into the tackle of... Cipriani tackled about five metres short. Irish driving on. Mapasua there driving the pack on. Gets the ball. Now it goes right from Staunton. Staunton to Hickey. Bob Casey on the crash ball. Penalty coming up. Wasps were offside and now come over the top as well. So the referee's whistled. Well, he's just about to blow. Allows it to go through one more phase. Tangi Thakabo takes it at first receiver. Drives in but stopped in his tracks. The referee blows his whistle and it'll be a penalty to a London Irish. Irish uh, using the phases. Getting the ball, seeing the backs run a bit as well, Paddy, which is something we haven't seen enough of this season. Indeed, they, look, they, can, they, they that scrum, they, they created a situation, they got a piece of field position where they were able to to have genuine options both on left and right, and here's Hickey slotting it. Yeah, just chips it through, no problem at all from Owen Hickey, and uh, that is indeed half-time. Absolutely, there's no question, for assuming 
Brian Ashton well, I think uh, can, stays around I think now after, 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 current, yeah. after current events are I think over. Brian Ashton's job prospects are looking a lot rosier than they were a month ago. I, I, in my opinion, he's got some real talent to work with. I've said this consistently along that the, the academies are producing some brilliant young players. Well, the ball comes back to Tangathakaba from the scrum eventually, and a good strength again from Tangathakaba, just driving his way through. He's been one of the... Uh, rare positive so for London Irish this afternoon as Mapasua runs into the tackle of his great friend Ricky Flutie and it stopped him in his tracks but he got the offload away as he so often does and this is better from London Irish Phil Murphy takes the ball on drives up towards halfway and sets it up for Paul Hodgson goes round the side of the ruck but tackles almost immediately and uh, well London Irish come once more good offload from Kieran Roach on to Nick Kennedy round the narrow side goes Declan Danaher this time with the sun out once more looking straight into the sun here at Adams Park on this lovely autumnal day driving on up over the 10 metre line Irish come towards his right hand touch line picked up and Tonga Latoa is uh, unceremoniously dumped on his backside as forward come Irish once more through David Pace at outside centre Pace driving on good support there from Pace for Jeremy Staunton now Dunn Armitage spots half a gap and turns on the afterburner steps but the defence is there is it well it's a wonderful run from Dunn Armitage for the line and over goes Dunn Armitage well it's a wonderful try for Armitage in an otherwise utterly mediocre